Lethbridge police are checking cargo securement, brakes, tires, and other things on commercial vehicles in the city. The percentage of those being designated out of service is high due to some differences in how the inspections are being conducted this year. Due to budget cuts by certain agencies and government, um, there's fewer inspectors on the road or fewer inspectors able to attend our check. So we're checking less vehicles with fewer people here to check vehicles. We have more flexibility to pick and choose the vehicles that we're inspecting. So we're identifying vehicles that as they're driving down the road, we, we suspect may have issues. So that would reflect in the higher uh, out of service rate. Yesterday, when inspections started, 116 vehicles were looked at, 81% of which did not pass. Large violations are always generally uh, cargo securement and then a number of uh, vehicle violations uh, often uh, regarding uh, uh, braking systems or uh, brakes of vehicles. Um, it can vary a lot. There's, there's a lot of different sections, but those are generally the highest ones. When it comes to who dropped the ball that led to a vehicle being deemed not roadworthy, no one party predominantly holds the blame. We have drivers that try and skirt the, uh, the regulations and don't necessarily do what they're supposed to do. They're due diligence in doing their inspections or doing their reports. Uh, we also have some very good drivers out there that do, but then the companies don't follow up and do their end to ensure. And then we have a combination of where it's the driver and the company, and it's everywhere in between. As for drivers, they're simply asked to be vigilant and stick to the regulations. Most people, if you drive the same vehicle every day, whether it be your passenger vehicle or commercial vehicle, you have a sense and a feel for how the vehicle normally operates. So if you get in one day and it's not driving quite right, that should be a clue to anybody that I should have this looked at or I should check something. I should just keep driving and hoping it's good. Um, commercial vehicles over a certain size are required to do a pre-trip check and carry a document that shows they did that pre-trip check and there's an official list of uh, things that they have to be checking which includes a range of things from exhaust, brakes. The check stop is expected to continue until tomorrow around 2. For Bridge City News, I'm Ben Matichuk.